Welcome to episode 13 of the Introduction to React series. I'm Jack Harrington, at Jaher on Twitter, and this is Blue Collar Coder. So in the previous videos, we've learned a lot about use state, use context, use reducer, and now Redux. But there's a lot of new state managers coming out, and I wanted to show you one that I'm actually really excited about, and it's called Zustin. It's a weird name, but it makes state management between parts of your React tree super easy. So let's go jump into the code. So we have a Redux app, and we want to try something new. We want to try a state manager called Zustand. So let's take a look down here. This is the way that we create the store in Zustand. We got to bring in Zustand as a package. So in this case, it's managing a number of bears. And the bear starts at zero. And then it's got a method on there, increase population, which is a function. That function then calls that set that we got in the beginning. That set takes a, another function, which takes a state and returns the new state based on whatever that is going to do. And so in this case, increase population increases by one and remove all, removes all the bears from the population, which is very sad. And the result of that is a new hook. So we're creating a custom hook for ourselves, which is really cool. And that custom hook is called use store. So let's go and try this out. First thing to do is remove Redux and Redux React. Don't need those anymore. And then we're going to add Zustand. Let's start that up and obviously, boom. So the next thing to do is create a file called store.js and it just paste in that code that we got. Then we'll export that. Of course, we're not doing anything with bears. So let's change out bears to Pokemon, make it a empty array and then set filter and slide to Pokemon. And now we need three setters. So we've got set Pokemon. Now it's going to take Pokemon as an argument, and that's fine. You can have as many arguments in there as you want. Then that function that goes to set is going to return the current state plus the Pokemon that it got as an argument. So that's pretty clean. Now I just need that for set filter and set selected Pokemon. Okay, and that is our Zustin store. All right, let's go back over to app.js and start porting this over. First, you need to remove the Redux stuff. Now we're Redux free in our app.js. And let's bring in use store from store. And then down an app, we're going to say const Pokemon equals use store. And use store takes a function. It gets given a state and then it selects out what it wants. So in this case, we want state.pokemon. And we also want set Pokemon. So and that's really nice. You actually get your setters the same way that you do your state. So now instead of dispatch, we can just call set Pokemon again. So set Pokemon takes a list of Pokemon and then sets that in the state. So now we can replace that entire dispatch with just set Pokemon. Let's jump on over to Pokemon table, import that. Let's paste in our use store code. So we need Pokemon, copy and paste that, replace it with filter. And we also need set selected Pokemon. So let's change set Pokemon to set selected Pokemon since we need that. 
then remove the Redux stuff, and import use store. And then finally change out that dispatch for the set selected Pokemon. Okay, this is looking good. This is looking very Zustin D. Let's copy and paste these top two lines, paste that into Pokemon filter, and we'll change out Pokemon for set filter. And then remove the Redux stuff. Bring in U Store. And that looks good. Last one to fix is Pokemon Info. All we need is a select to Pokemon, paste that in there, and then we'll bring in U Store. Oh, and we missed one dispatch. Where did we miss that? I see. Okay, so over in Pokemon Filter, restyle this dispatch. Let's fix that. And there you go. There's our Zustin app. And all that you need is this one little store. All right, so we can make this even a little cleaner. Let's go back over into our app and then take the fetch and put it over in store.js. And in this case, we don't have set Pokemon. So we're gonna turn that back into a function. I'm going to say that we get our list of Pokemon and then use useStore.setState, which in turn takes a state. And just like before, we return the existing state and then Pokemon. And then we can remove all this code from app. And that's even more clean. Now the store manages its own initial fetch for that data, which is great. And finally, we can remove the use store from the app. And there you have it, Redux to Zustand in just a few minutes. Isn't that cool? You go and essentially create a new React hook on the fly that you then share data around with. I think that's really, really cool and powerful. And I hope you enjoy learning about Zustand and want to dig in further. All right, if you like the video, be sure to hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to put those in the comment section down below. If you really like the video, of course, feel free to hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified anytime a new one of these videos comes out. Check out the description. There's a whole bunch of things that we do, Discord server, uh, newsletter, that you can subscribe to to learn more about Blue Collar Coder. All right, in the meantime, be happy, be healthy, and be safe.